Why do people have to know the future? Why? So what if I told you the future and it wasn't good? That would change everything, right? You'd say, oh my gosh, and you'd start to change your life, your thoughts, uh, your future, right? Totally. Well, I'm going to tell you something right now, because this is absolutely a fact, what I'm going to share with you. And we're going to talk about that whole predicting the future. Are you ready for this? You're going to love this. Let's go. to Landria Anka on YouTube, here to help you break through the fears and live an amazing life. I say break through because fear is here as part of an experience. Without fear, we wouldn't get to experience the challenges. There would be no conflict because there would be no fear. We would, you know, open our arms to one another and say, how do we resolve this? What can we do together? Uh, you, who has different skills? Let's bring them together. We'd work as a community. Fear is what separates us. So we don't want to eliminate it. We can use fear for very good things, right? Fear protects you on some levels. We want to break through it. We want to recognize the fear that, you know, keeps us physically healthy and the fears that are made up that cause separation and conflict. So why do we always want to know the future? And why is it impossible to predict it? Every single person who's predicted the future that really knew their stuff, the real, the real deals, Nostradamus, Edgar Casey, there's many of them, will tell you the exact same thing, and they all have said this, that there is nothing that cannot be changed. These are just things I see at this moment in time. Boom, and it changes. So as soon as we're told the future, we can change it. All right? Why do we need to know it? That's 100%. You might not like what I'm going to say. You might not like this. That's 100% ego. Ego doesn't believe in all probabilities and unlimited power. Ego believes in individualism, separation. One thing is right. This is going to happen. It compartmentalizes. And when you think that there's one future that you need to be told, your ego thinks that, that, that things are just set in time. And that that's how it is. When you go to a higher frequency, you know that all things are possible and that it doesn't matter what somebody told you. I, I had uh, an astrologist, uh, was, it was a gift somebody gave me, telling me the, my future and all these things, and I was really quiet. And she says, well, you're really quiet. I said, yeah, what do you want me to say? I said, I'm trying not to lead her, right? I, she says, well, you know, just what do you think of what I'm seeing? I said, I think that no matter what you tell me, I can change it. So it doesn't matter what you tell me. She says, yeah, I agree. I said, good. Because you can say I'm a, a Pisces or a Libra or whatever, and this is how I am, and I can change that too. Why? Because I am the universe. I am the power. I'm the creator. You are too. I'm not God. I am the power, the creation of the ultimate source. And so are you. You can change your personality. You can change anything in your life. So for me or anybody else to tell the future is limiting, and I won't do it. I will share with you some information I get, but it's never specific because what it does is it allows us to say, okay, there's shifts in energy happening, and here's what we can do with it. And I'm telling you right now, there's a huge shift to a higher frequency of unity, community, compassion, solutions. But not if you don't participate in it. It's up to you. So if you have to have a future told to you, your ego wants that. It likes things to be defined, labeled. This was channeled. That's it. And somebody, so many of you have said, oh, you've gone to all these other channels and everybody has a different opinion. I said, hello, yeah, that's how it works. And they're all true. Somebody will say that there's something horrible going on out there. I'm thinking, if you want to believe it, it will be your reality. It's not mine. Because I know there's duality in everything, including what's out there. But we happen to be on the low 
end of the spectrum of experiences. Because if you get any lower, you blow yourselves up, which has happened before. <laughs> I've been there. <laughs> And so there's, you know, there's, there's no resolution to that. You're just like, okay, next, start, do over. <laughs> Let's not do that. What are you focused on? So if you are wanting an answer and you're disappointed because somebody didn't tell you the end of the, you know, the battles going on, your ego, your ego thinks that there is one ending. And that's probably how you're living your life. And you don't have to. There's a hundred and one ways for you to finish off this experience on planet Earth. What do you want it to be? And don't limit yourself. Do you want to live in another country? Do you want to help people? Do you want to be an artist? Do you want to be a writer? Do you want to have a published book? I'll show you. You guys have seen this. I've got a new company now, digitalexplorers.net. I'll show you how to be a published author without spending any money on, on publishing. I'll show you a hundred and one ways to be amazing because you already are, you're just not believing it or using it. So you hold back and you're maybe allowing money. You know, this has to be, I have to do this or this. No, you can have all of that. Let's go into compassion, passion, giving, love, expansion, creativity. Let's go into that. And by the way, you know what's in there? Money. Money on a high frequency. Money's evil. No, the use of it is. Or it's up on a high level. You know, Mother Teresa used to take money from drug dealers. She said, you know what? It helps equally. It feeds people just as easily as the other money. Who, by the way, who's to say that's clean money? What's clean? What's dirty? What are the intentions? What's the final result? Is your ego wanting to have an answer? Then you're missing out on what you are. And that's unlimited. Unlimited. Yes, you played a role. Yes, you will be Bob or Nancy or Landria or whoever, whatever name we chose. With a specific type of personality and probabilities and talents and skills. That's part of the play. Use it. And you could change any circumstance. And use the challenges to show what can be done despite this. Yeah. Are you ready to do that? I'd love to help you. You guys, have, if you're not in my free email list and my free master class, come on over. I've got all kinds of things for you. Want a business based on passion, multiple income streams, a business you actually own, a brand? Planet conscious businesses, that's what we're doing. You want to participate in that? It's such a high frequency. It feels so good. And the ego stops making rules and says, let's do it. Let's try it. And we're powerful together. I hope you'll subscribe. <laughs> I hope you'll subscribe. You are whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious and happy. Blessings to you, my friend. Namaste.